Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, This Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 6 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. called Fun and Games. So we start off with this kid named Flint, and he is selling um, Ozanins to have credit. Uh, so he's doing that, and then the Kree gets the kid, uh, gets Flint, and then basically um, the Kree are gathering all the kids, and we're trying to put them through Terra Genesis. You have Enoch uh, gives the rundown of everyone in the room to Fitz and tells him of his cover. And then Fitz finds Simmons and is basically uh, professing his love to her and everything that's, happen that's happening. And she can't hear a single freaking word. And then, um, then Cassius um, keep, um, wants to keep an eye on Fitz, talking to Sonar about it. And then, um, then Fitz talks to Cassius and is like, uh, how, are you, uh, how are your people best to listen to me if they can't hear? So he deactivates the, um, the sound, you know, so she can actually hear now. And, um, and then they content, then Cassius and Fitz continue to talk about the, um, people going through Terra Genesis. And then you have Fitz wants to, um, wants to buy Daisy and Simmons. And then we cut to Coulson's team, talks to Flint. And then it's Terra Jensen's time, and Flint is actually turning. And um, then we cut to dinner, where it's dinner time, and basically uh, Quake and uh, the guy that has tele um, that's a telepath, they talk, and she says sorry about what's happening. Then Fitz is basically making ripples. He might make him waves. He's like basically dissing people, tell them what he would do, what from stuff that he kind of did in the framework. So he's kind of integrating that into his character to uh, gain um, allies and showing them his balls, which is kind of crazy. And then we cut to where Yo-Yo talks to the kids. So basically what Yo-Yo did, she, um, after he broke out of Terra Genesis, um, Yo-Yo got him and talked to him and said, technically people think he's invisible, but he's really talking to Yo-Yo. And then we cut to the battle between Telepath versus May. So we thought she died in a previous episode, at least that's what I was thinking. I was like, I hope not, but thank God she didn't die, but... Uh, that was an epic fight scene. That was insanity. I love that fight scene so much. And then um, Fitz stopped it. And then we have Tess um, uh, get stopped by the Kree. So basically their plan was to take Flint, put him into the brig of a ship that, um, what is it that basically collects all the dirt and turns it into fuel and stuff like that? So basically, that's um, what they wanted to do. So she gets stopped by the Cree and she kind of covers for him. It's like, I haven't seen the kid, and it was just a business relationship I had with the kid and not anything else. And then, um, and then you have the guy, I guess they're, I don't know what you call it, the guy that runs the tower downstairs or whatever. Uh, bust Cole's team and everyone in there, and then we have them cut to where Sonara uh, kills Ben because they find out that May is also from the past, and so um, he does not like liars. So Cassius tells Sonara to kill him. So they she has those on two balls and it goes flying and kills him. And then we have uh, Simmons talks to Daisy about fits and stuff, so she actually can hear everything and it's kind of present. And actually stole a butter knife. And they have Enoch uh, tells Fitz, uh, Cassius' brother is here from basically his, um, from his dad's empire. And then, um, then we cut to where the kids' powers are coming in. Basically, um, the guy that's, um, torturing Coulson's team. Um, they're getting tortured pretty bad, so Flint starts to react, and he's starting to uh, throw rocks, basically like telekinetic with just rocks and can shape rocks into a boulder and kill the guy. 
And um, then we have a cut to where Fitz is pissed at Cassius because he thought he had a fighting chance to bid for uh, Quake or Daisy. They could do they do like Quake of the Destroyer of Worlds or something like that. And then, um, but hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so the brother wants her to battle against a Kree warrior and offers up. Sonara, and so Cassius, being the person that he is, he agrees to it. And <laughs> and then we cut to where they um, they took out uh, Tess and uh, hung her up. And so that's kind of crazy. And then it's Daisy versus uh, Sonara, and it's like a really epic fight scene. Like, I loved it. And so they um, finally do the diversion, and then basically, <laughs> what's crazy is uh, Simmons literally tries to slit Cassius's throat. <laughs> like, what? And maybe it look like he um, is dead, but I don't think he is. But um, let's just show the preview for the next episode. Anyway, I get ahead of myself. And so um, then basically. Fitz shoots everyone with the icer and escapes and hits the button that activates the force field. And so basically, uh, Fitz jumps out and so does Simmons and they all get out and with Daisy and they try to escape. <laughs> and that's in the episode. Uh, that was an amazing episode. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I'll give this an A plus episode. And one thing that I thought was interesting that I didn't include in the um, in my notes and stuff is how. Basically, he, um, how Fitz was building a connection um, with Cassius and how, like, how, you know, Fitz had to play the, basically, the person who was in the framework and had to basically use that type of knowledge and that type of um, brutalness into this episode to, you know, compete with the uh, people that are bidding. And I thought that was a really interesting power move and in how he was trying to bond with Cassie so he can have a leg up and to buy Daisy and Simmons. So I thought that was a really interesting episode, um, dynamic between them. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved the fight scenes. They were st stupendous, to be quite honest. I was thoroughly impressed. And this is also um, Clark uh, Gregg, who plays Phil Coulson, this was his, um, I think, his first time directing the episode, or I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the conversation down below, but I really enjoyed it. I thought that was a great episode. So, awesome job to you. I really, really, really liked it. So, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. And also, the, um, I forgot to mention May, um, to stop the fight between May and the uh, telepath. Fitz stopped the fight between the telepath and May and they basically took her out and put her on the um, on the upper part of the base and sent her to the um, surface of the earth which is like a big pile of rock basically so I'm very interested to see what's going to happen next episode and I'm just <laughs> super excited so anyway, that's one do for this episode. If you like this episode, please give it a like, comment down below on what you think. Do you agree, disagree? What's your favorite part of the episode? What was your least favorite part? Let me know down below and then suggest any other shows, movies, or music. Just let me know down below and I'll check it out. And I want y'all to have a super awesome day and please subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Bye everybody.